Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm gonna be going over how I have my truck set up for fishing. This is after a tournament this past weekend. I had all my stuff loaded up, put it in Pawpaw's boat for the tournament. So this is how I travel with everything. And if I'm going fishing, most of the time, if I'm this is how I got it set up when I'm fishing in somebody else's boat, like a BFL tournament as a co-angler, or fishing with Pawpaw or fishing with a friend or whatever. But I'm gonna give a little rundown on how I got everything set up. All right, so I'm gonna start off on the passenger side. That's where I keep all my rods. That's just the easiest. I don't like putting them in the back of the truck. Everything will get all, it could get jacked up and break a rod tip, but, so I got them, I put all, put them all on the rod socks or the rod gloves, you know, I don't know what, it, they're all different brands. I don't have one specific one, but I got about 10 or 11 rods up here in the front of the truck. And I mean, they ride good. I mean, they're not, they're easy to get in, easy to get out. Tips aren't hitting anything. Just, keeps them protected up here uh as much as i'm outdoors and work and everything i got the the weather tech floor mats and these carhartt seat covers uh i mean that's not absolutely necessary to have but as much as i'm outside and fish and hunt and everything else i thought it was a a good thing to have you know i don't want to get dirt or mud or whatever you know fishing in the rain you get in the truck and you don't want to get the cloth seats wet or leather or whatever you got so I thought that was a pretty good investment, but no, that's that's how I got the front seat. I just got all my rods with rod covers on there. So moving to the back, um, so this right here, I don't have a toolbox on this truck. I hadn't got one yet. I don't know. I don't really need one. So I've just got all my tools and everything, and these two uh, totes. It works pretty good. I mean, I've never, I mean, I've never had five people in here. So this, this seat right here folds up, and if I do have to have two more people in the back, that one just folds down. So I just keep this one up most of the time, but usually the whole, all three seats in the back are raised up. But so I've just got, I had my boots, took them with me. It rained a thousand inches, it seemed like, on Saturday morning, but I had those boots just in case I needed them. I wore my rubber boots the whole day, but I just got some snacks back here that I had in the boat. That's the easiest thing that I like to take in the boat, just honey buns and stuff like that. I mean, it's easy. You just throw the trash in the cooler, the live well, you know, whatever. But no, that's that's how I got the, the back side, or the passenger side of the truck, that's how I got it set up. Got rods in the front and then my tools in the back and I got some food in my boots right here, but I'm gonna go around to the other side. All right, so on the driver's side in the back, this is where most of the most of the junk's at. I say junk. Always got to keep an extra hat in the back. You never know when you'll lose one. Um, I got me a little cooler right here. It's like it's not one of the Yeti coolers, but it's. I mean, that's that's how it is. Like it's the one of those the little Yeti like soft mesh or not mesh like the soft touch coolers. Um, I got my backpack for school. I just keep it in here. I only go like once a week, so I just just keep it in here i got a life jacket i always keep one when i'm going fishing i mean papa's got two or three in his boat but i always always take one just in case you never know what could happen and somebody else could need one at the tournament that's forgot it but uh so in the back I, this i put all this in his in his boat when i'm fishing as a co-angler like in a bfl or something i don't take near as much crap but since i mean it's a team tournament you know and we're fishing together i just i put most of my stuff in there but Right back here, I got got my buzz bait, or it's a spinner bait box that I keep buzz baits in. I have this that's got creature baits and trailers in it. This had all my worms in it this past weekend, and then this one has like uh, like flipping and pitching baits, jig trailers, just like Z crawls, brush hogs, rage crawl stuff like that. So, and then I just got on my tackle box. So I just lay them out on the floor, and so that way they don't they don't slide around. Uh, this is my little. I guess like my fishing toolbox i i put these in there but i've just got like all my markers die pins scissors cutters pliers all that stuff extra baits that i had in the floor i just throw them in here that way i don't put them back in the tackle box it's wet so and this box i, don't, I think i got a dollar general i got a, it's got a little hole in it so if there does if there is water in here it doesn't just get trapped and then i got my line box uh this is i've had this thing i don't know how long it's just a little tote that you can get at Walmart, Dollar General. I keep all my line in here, extra reels, reel magic, and then this is my scale. And I've I also put my coal tags in there too when I'm traveling. But 
after they were wet from the term I just threw them in the back of the truck but so that's how I got the got the back the back of the truck that's how it's set up and then the front I mean this is how I, I have it all the time but this right here is the little I got a little trick it's the little WeatherTech cup phone and you put your phone in there and like my car or my truck has the CarPlay, so it shows it on the radio screen, but it just makes it so much easier. You know, Georgia's got the hands-free law. I had never really heard of much people getting pulled over from it, but just in case I ever did get pulled over, my phone's pretty much there all the time, but that's just how I got the front or the, the cab of the truck set up, and I'll show you all the back here in a second. All right, so of course, I got my I got my trailer hitch back here. It's that B&W tow and stow. I made a video on that. I'll try to put a link in the description if anyone anybody wants to check that out but in the back here's how i keep this 100 percent of the time minus the boots and the floor but i've just got one of these little uh cable locks that way i can keep this gas can and my cooler on the back of the truck all the time i mean it's not going to stop somebody that really wants it but an honest person i mean they're they'd have to get cutters and do all that crap but if somebody really wanted to steal it they could but it's been on here for six months now and hadn't went anywhere but so I just I keep my Yeti cooler back here. It's empty right now. I we I cleaned it out after the term. I didn't have much in there, but I just put water, ice, and I like to eat those uncrustable. So I just keep them in there. Uh, I got me a little lock to keep that locked. Uh, and then so I had to wear these rain boots since it rained so much Saturday. But after the tournament was over, I just threw my coal tags in this milk crate. But usually this milk crate all has only got a wood block two wood blocks and a funnel i keep i keep that on the truck all the time you never know when you'll need a wood block or a funnel hopefully you never need them but if you do they're right here so that's how i ride around my truck all the time minus the boots and the coal tags and all that but that's how i got it set up all right, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Uh, I just want to show everybody how I have my truck set up. I like to watch videos like this. I mean, it's not exactly a fishing video, but it, I guess it pertains to fishing a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to show everybody how I got it set up. Uh, I'm posting, the, this video will be posted after the Neely Henry breakdown. I didn't get to film that tournament because it rained so much. I didn't want to mess up my camera, but this weekend on May the 1st, we got the next BFL. It's at Smith Lake. So I'm about to take all this stuff in the house, get it re-rigged, get my stuff in my tackle box, and pack it back up and get ready for Smith Lake. But thank you all for checking out this video, and if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.